With the start of school coming up, kids of all ages who are going back to school after a fun summer might have a lot of stress or anxiety. And I think this is something that as parents, it's important for us to think about and talk about with our kids. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Mead. I'm a parent, a pediatrician, and a medical director within Pediatrics for Providence Swedish. For little kids, toddlers, preschool, that sort of age, familiarity is really one of the most important things. They thrive on routine. They really are used to familiar things. And so if they're starting at a new school, making sure they can visit the school ahead of time, maybe doing a couple of trial days or half days so they can get used to that environment, that can really help ease that transition rather than just starting with a full day or a full week of school. For children who are in elementary or middle school, they might have a lot of anxiety about starting a new grade, learning new things, having more homework, or not knowing somebody. Buddy systems can be super helpful at this age, so maybe connecting with other families at that school during the summer ahead of time to make sure that your child has a couple of friendly faces when they start going to that school. Once we get into this age, kids can really start talking about how they feel. So let introduce that subject gently, introduce it often, have those conversations before the night before the first day of school so that you really know sort of where your child is. And then for adolescents, they can really identify their emotions. They're very smart and they might not always want to talk about things. So I think making this part of a regular dinner table conversation, is there anything that's stressing you out? Talking about things that you might be worried about and really helping to form that bond with your child can be super helpful in encouraging them to talk to you when they do have something that comes up. If you ever have a concern that your child has more stress or more anxiety than you think is typical, then your child's doctor is a perfect place to start that conversation and make sure that there's not something more serious going on.